My name is Sonia Gaither. My husband and I own the Mill Bakery in Jessup, Georgia, and I'm living on purpose. Don't you waste another minute on your food, there's much to do. There's a plan, why aren't you in it? Purpose win just for you. Find your place in God today. Share your gifts, no more delay. We're waiting, we're waiting for you. As we look at the condition of our economy, now would be a great time to really find out what we're made of and put it to good use in our family as well as our community. Like in the case of a woman in this next story, though it was a challenge of a different sort, she met it head on with change. My name is Sonia Gaither. My husband and I own the Mill Bakery in Jessup, Georgia, and I'm living on purpose. But their journey to this place purpose, Gaither says, evolved unexpectedly through digestive issues involving their two-year-old son. We started milling in our own home because um, he had complications that he couldn't really use the restroom frequently enough. And it was to the point that it was, it was an issue. He was going to have to go on medicines and stuff. I knew inside there's got to be a better way. And at that, right at that time, I was praying about it. A friend called and said, have you considered milling your own grains? You know, making your own flour? And I also said, no, I'll try anything. And so um, we got our first mill. And right away, the, both my sons loved it. And within four days, he was not having that problem anymore, um, didn't need to go on medication. And then over time, I mean, it just became a daily thing with us. And I would um, be asked to share in other people's homes or church members or whatever, and to come in their home and show them how they could do it at home. After getting the attention of the community, here's the result a few years later. Mills Bakery and Cafe. If you care about people, you want to share because if you know it helped you, and you know they're suffering something similar that you were, and, and you know there's relief, you know you share. Gaither says operating a business has helped to enlighten her even more about where she's actually gifted and where she's not. And all the knowledge of the grains, I mean the fact that you could blindfold me and I can tell you which grain I'm eating, millet, kamut, this or that. We've all learned, everybody that worked with me, my husband, everybody's learned. Management's not my thing, but that's okay. It's not many people's thing. And the hard thing is to try to not be jealous. Some things that get more glamour, get more notice. She says her business not only opened doors to a health conscious community, but it also gave family and friends the freedom to use their gifts. It takes so many different gifts to, um, to get it all going. Um, well, my whole family came together. Uh, took, took a lot of different people doing different things. My uncle painted those pictures, and he's, he's uh, over 100 now, but at the time he was in his late 80s. And then my dad, that I showed you a picture over there, he, um, there was a time he had, we called him the funding father because he had to financially back us because the business was losing money for, for a, a while. Stephanie, she's got an amazing hand. I mean, I mean, she can just get up there and do that as a first draft. God's going to put opportunity in your life, and it's going to take time, and you'll, you'll put people right in your path. Do it.